Would you like to go for a walk? Oh, would you like to go for a walk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they must be expecting rough seas. There's no boats, uh, all of, lots of boats have been pulled up. Look, the sea looks empty. The pier's been pulled up as well. That's the cemetery. I think we're gonna go for a walk down there today. Carla's just pointed out, as the sea is going to get quite rough, um, our canoes need to be moved. I'm going to have to go down there now and, um, and move them further up the beach. But first, we'll take a quick little walk through the cemetery anyway. Right, off to the beach we go. I was definitely not planning on coming down to the beach. I've not at all prepared for it. I haven't even brought a dog lead. Luckily, I have a spare piece of string in my bag. So I'll be using that in a minute. And I think I'm just gonna go and move the canoes and then come straight back up again. So here's the bar that they've moved and it's shut as well. Right, where are my kayaks? So this is the river that was carved out with the heavy rainstorm last week. You guys here to give me a hand.
to a standstill. Are you tired, little bubby? Should we go and get some food? You need a little rest, don't you? All these steps, they're very hard work. I'm now back at the cemetery, waiting for Carlos to finish his shift, and then we'll go down to his mum's house for lunch. The sea has actually got rougher since I've been down and moved the kayak. That was only about an hour ago. the sun lounges now, up out of the way. I'm at my in-laws house, I've just had lunch and um, on the news there is just reporting about these terrible storms and floods everywhere in Italy and that's what's heading this way. I wonder if they're preparing to pull that jetty out onto the beach. Look very dark and stormy up there, and I don't want to get wet. <laughs> 